What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel and we already um, encountered our first issue being maxed out on the rears um, on my right side um, on my right side wait no this is my left side um, this right side my brother and I went to in and out the other day and then on the way back there's like a little bopping sound <laughs> Don't know what it is, so I'm about to jack up the car, take out the wheel, and just inspect everything. Maybe something came loose, or maybe it's just too low. So yeah, I'm gonna check that out. So I'm gonna, so I'm gonna check it out. Kind of, it's a pain in the butt because it's like it's been raining all week. So I don't see anything loose. These are the three bolts I untied in and these all seem kind of like they're stuck on there pretty good. The collar itself, um, I checked it, there's nothing loose. The only thing I kind of see, I don't know if it's because it's been raining or that it might be leaking is my... It's my rear axles. I don't know if that's supposed to be the color in them. I feel like that might just be like dirt or surface rust, but as you can see right there, it's kind of looks like it's wet. I really hope that my axles didn't go out, or at least the right one, because I don't have money for that right now. Ah, oh, man. Why did I choose to go low? I know there's that common issue. I already knew this from the beginning. I just didn't think my car was that low that it was going to cause that for it to pop off. Um... So I'm gonna raise it um, up a little bit. I'm probably gonna raise it maybe like five threads, see how high that is, and then raise it five threads from the other side as well. Okay, so I rose it five threads. Hopefully that helps. Ah. Yeah. The sweater guys I ordered from Rob Dom. Took him like two months to send it, no big deal. Um, but it came just in time because it is raining all week in San Jose, so it's pretty cozy. Um, it's alright, it's soft, but I feel like with the one wash, um, it's just not going to be soft anymore. Not bad. It fits pretty snug. I like how like it's super like tight from the arm part, so your arm looks a little bit bigger. Damn, damn. Getting the good stuff, hot Cheeto Elote, and then yogurt that's super unhealthy. You want to know what's more unhealthy? Um, so I dropped it a couple of threads from the front, and then I rose it up five threads from the back. And I don't really hear the popping sound anymore. I don't hear the popping sound anymore, so it looks pretty good. The front still looks like it could go lower. So I might lower it like another inch or two, but for now, damn, zero will be looking good. Dude, these are so good. <laughs> oh man, good thing I didn't, I didn't actually um, vacuum my car. Damn, this is just a spoonful of hot Cheetos. I feel maybe like eight-year-old me would have been so hyped about this. Okay, 24-year-old me is still happy about this. Dude, it keeps spilling it. As a little kid, babe, I used to buy like hot Cheeto bags or Dorito bags. And I would crush them up. Especially like the, the Funyuns, the hot ones. I would crush it up in the bag before even opening it. And then I would just eat it like that. So pretty much I would eat it this way. And I spilled it more. You know what I used to do? Mm. You know those cinnamon toast crunch cereals? Oh yeah. I'll put like an extra three scoops of sugar. Oh, dude, I would do that with um, frosted flakes. I would tell my mom to get me the sugary ones. And then when she wasn't looking, I would throw like five scoops of sugar. <laughs> of sugar. <laughs> I was a chubby ass kid. It's crazy to know that I was like 
260 pounds as a middle schooler, five foot five. Why are you lying? You're only five two. <laughs> I was taller in middle school. Mm. I shrunk in high school. I don't know how it works, but it works. Can I try yours, babe? No, you can't try mine, okay? That's mine. Why are you putting it like that? <laughs> I don't know. It's like playing in the sand. Just like evening it out. There's a Mexican in me. I'm kidding. Now you want some? Try it. Mm -mm. Oh, yeah, you're on a diet, huh? <laughs> yeah, with all that yogurt. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like this has way more calories than all mine is. Mmm. Wow, this is really good. Dude, I actually like. Do you taste like granola? I don't taste like granola, <laughs> but I taste the sugar. I taste the, the diabetes. Mmm. Oh, it has granola right here. Yeah. Wow, this is actually really good. Maybe a little bit more cho chocolate drizzle. Mm mm. Mm hmm. In the bottom. No, that's a good enough. Dude, chocolate. this is really good. All right, I'm just gonna enjoy this off camera. I'll catch up with you guys. I'll catch up with you guys at Target. We just came to Target. I came to buy um, some headphones for my sister since she always breaks hers. Or not always, but she broke hers. So came to buy her this, and then I'm gonna buy her a screen protector on Amazon. But a telephone here, we ran into Luis right here. I was like, I was going in line and then I was like, I saw Luis and I was like, no way, I think that's Luis. But I feel like, oh, I hope that was him too. Um, I was like, dude, I feel like that's Luis, but I don't think that's Luis. But he's the only guy I know that wears Tim's. So I was like, it has to be Luis. I was right, we ran into him. He actually parked close to me and he just bought a wing for his girlfriend's car. So hopefully that install looks pretty cool. But another thing that I, I bought was, I bought my girlfriend this watch band the camera's not really gonna really, ah fuck the camera's not really gonna pick up the color because it's like a minty blue like a light blue, light blue. yeah blue. but you see on, oh yeah, yeah sky blue but you see on camera it kind of does like a gray or a white oh yeah it does like a white yeah excuse my nails i was working on my car there okay guys so it's actually day two i did a lot of the work yesterday i rose the car from the back and lowered it from the front a little bit and then I thought I tightened everything, but the only thing I didn't mess with was this tie rod right here. And that's because I thought originally we only loosened this one. But I guess at one point we loosened the top too. And I never realized that. So when we were um, putting everything back together, I was driving for like a cool week. There wasn't any sounds. And then a couple of days ago, it started making a little bop sound, like I would drive, and then in the rear, it would just be bop, bop, randomly. And it, it wasn't uh, consistent, it was just like random things. So, um, I went on the Facebook um, group pages for like BRZs, FRSs, and I found this post from four years ago. So, shout out to the dude, I messaged him, and I was like, hey, did you ever figure out the issue? And he said it was the tie rod. So, I came back today, good thing it's not raining, it was supposed to rain today. And uh, yeah, correct. That dude was fucking 100% correct. Um, that the top part was actually loose, and I tightened it right now. I'm gonna slap the wheel back on, and then I'm gonna do a little test drive to see if I hear that bop sound again. Okay, so I forgot to actually record an outro last night. But I picked this up at Target. It's a Pringle Scorching. Not uh, that says Scorching Hot, but it's just regular Scorching, and then it's a chili lime flavor. It's one of my favorite flavors when it comes to almost anything. So let's try it out. I have my girlfriend right here, but she doesn't like to be on video because she has a unibrow, so. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm not gonna put that. I'm gonna try it out with me, but she doesn't wanna be recorded, so I respect her privacy. Mm, it smells hot. It doesn't really smell, can I smell it? Oh. <laughs> It just smells like Pringles, right? There's no like smell. There's not really like a, it's like a small spicy smell. 
cheese. Pink cheese, right? Okay, I'm gonna take the first bite. Oh man, this one's all cracked. One thing I love about Pringles is just they're all like stacked together. Wow, that's pretty good. <clears throat> you really do get that lime smell, um, taste. Not smell, that lime taste. And it's actually kind of spicy. Okay, I think this might be my new favorite Pringle flavor. Try it out, babe. Double. What do you think? It's kind of spicy, right? Like It's kind of, but I like the other ones better. The you don't extra like this hot one? ones? Well, I don't think I've tried that one. You have. It's the ones I've gotten. Oh, yeah, those are pretty good. I like those more. I feel like this one leaves like a little, like, spicy, like, sensation on your tongue. Or is it just me? That's good, though. Alright guys, well that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and please like and comment. We're about to hit 600 subscribers. And I might just do a giveaway since I never did the giveaway on 500 subscribers. Just to make it up. So, please like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time guys, peace and stay safe.